Oh, what? You drink beer while you're training? Come on, do less. God, I look weathered. Absolutely just trash from the sun. Two, Two hour easy ride today. I feel like I should be spending more time on the uh, tri bike, practicing aero alec. I don't know, it's comfortable on the road bike. Not that I'm not comfortable on the tri bike, but you know, we're mid season. I should be on the tri bike. You know, I'm realizing a good result, it's all about volume. So today, volume Vinny. Still have to go up solo dab, and then I'm gonna map myself back home. I'm gonna do a loop and just connect it. Oh wow, stuck my shoe in dog shit. Really? Plan for future races is just bike a lot, run a lot, run off the bike a lot, but do less. Solo daddy, light walk. I don't know why I just did that, but I climbed solo dad again, but I went the opposite way, the steep way via Capri. Brutal. I'm now at 2,709 feet of vertical. Why am I going back up again? I don't know. Feeling hot. Let's go, baby. Santa Cruz 70.3. Gravel boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love that. Love that gravel. Thanks, Carmen. Oh yeah. It's so good for the bike. Woohoo! Choo! Where the fuck am I? Full blast Wally wind. Harry headwind going back. 80 miles in. A lot longer than I thought. Oh, I gotta make a left. I'm lost. I don't give a fuck. Do nothing. Hard work. Where am I, bro? Cliff Bar Cam. <laughs> Want to know the key to endurance sport? It's all in the fuel. You gotta fuel. I have a secret that I feel like no one really mentions, which is volume. That's the key word right here. You want to get faster in triathlon. You want to get faster at biking. You want to become a stronger runner. I'm just using different words. Uh, volume. That's the key, it's volume. You need to incorporate more hours in the saddle. I need to be Cervelo Steve like five times a week, 15 hours a week. The bike fitness translates into the run fitness and vice versa. You'll become a stronger runner if you bike more, you'll become a better cyclist if you run more. Now I'm not telling you to go add five hours of running and 10 hours of cycling because you'll probably blow your knees apart. But what I am saying is incorporate some more cycle time. I'm not gonna say it was all me. I have a coach which helped with my Moro Bay result, but I will say leading up to that race, I was upping my cycle volume a ton. And uh, the two weeks leading up to it, I was like over 330 miles each week. It just helps. Triathlon is just all about um, not only repetition and volume, but also to just getting comfortable. And ice baths taught me this, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, which is why I've incorporated so many run off the bikes and just cycling more is because I wanna get used to running on tired legs and build that confidence. Like the more times you smash the legs and then run off the bike, the more used to it you are and the more you know what to expect. I don't know if that made any sense, but the whole point is just volume is the best kept secret. Maybe it's not even a secret, I don't know. It's not something I've heard a lot about, but I'm learning that higher the volume, the better the result. I mean, it's as simple as that. All right, on with the video. Light walk. <sighs> I did just break six KOMs, and I realized if I had gone 0.1 further, I would have got seven, but what can you do? <laughs> oh, I put the computer on the tri bike. Now we're doing Tory Pines repeats, just trying to get some hillage. You know what I'm saying? Arrow Alec. Dude, this bike is a freaking rocket ship, bro. Even in the crosswinds. Crosswind Crosby, it doesn't even matter. Cut through it like butter. SpaceX, uh, tough day. Over 4,000 feet of climbing and only about 55 miles. 